to my kitchen. I am Tina with Hanging with Frugal Tina. To all of you, thank you for showing up. Thank you for tuning in. So what are we going to do today? It is a horrible day outside. It is snowing like crazy. So what a better day than to do a video. And I've been meaning to do this video. So the other day I was in the store and I was looking around and I happened to notice um, a recipe on the back of a Nora pasta side. And I started to think, well, what if I can get this from the Dollar Tree and make this a Dollar Tree type of a meal? So what it was, it was the, um, the Nor uh, Alfredo and it's basically lasagna from this. I'm hoping this is going to taste good, but we'll see. I haven't tried it yet. Um, so I went over to the Dollar Tree and I tried to find all of the ingredients. Um, they didn't have the Alfredo broccoli, Alfred. they didn't have just the Alfredo, they only had the Alfredo broccoli and it's, the recipe's not on the back, but luckily I got it up here. Uh, but I figure, hey, it's a little bit of broccoli, it's not going to hurt anybody, right? You can have a side of broccoli with it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have to make a couple of exceptions because my plan was to go back out and get the uh, mozzarella, but there's a lot of snow out there. So I'm going to use what I have in the house, but when you make this recipe from Dollar Tree, you would obviously not be using the same cheese as I, you will be using the Dollar Tree version. So let's get it, let's go, let's see if the pot's come on. As you could see, there is nothing but snow. I forgot something. I ran out of here. Come on! In such a hurry, I forgot to mention that I am having the recipe. Now let's get it. Let's go. Let's heat up those pots. Come on! All right, here's everything you're going to need for this uh, dish. Okay, so I found some of the cheese in my refrigerator. So now everything I have here, you can get from the Dollar Tree. The only exception that I didn't buy the Dollar Tree was my milk, but you can get that at Dollar Tree. And then this is Country Crock vegetable spread. It is not butter because the dynamics in my house, I cannot have butter. Even though we're using cheese, he's not eating this. But that's what I use for butter. So, all of this Dollar Tree. Alright, the first thing I got to do is brown up the, uh, the other beef patties over there. I got to brown these up. They're still frozen. So, let me just put that. You hear that? Let me put that in there and brown up the hamburger meat and then I'll be back. You guys don't want to watch me fight. Chop, 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 chop. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so that's about as crumbly as I can get that meat. I'm going to add a half, uh, not a half can, add a can of meat. Not a can of meat. <laughs> a can. Woo, I can't talk today. I'm adding a can of sauce. And then we're going to work on our north side. I could have done it simultaneously. I don't know why I didn't, but we'll just have to fix it. So I'm going to let this simmer together. Now, if you want to break out some seasonings and add some of that in here, you're perfectly welcome. I'm just trying to stick to um, as basic as I can. I probably shouldn't have added all the sauce because I forgot I was making a smaller recipe, but I could scoop some out. But uh, I'm going to let those flavors marry together while we make the nor sauce. As per the package instructions, I'm going to add, and I'm, I'm making two of these, okay? It doesn't call for two, I just feel like it's going to need it. I don't know how. If I made too much, we'll eat it with our other dish. So that's a cup. And a, you need a cup and a half. That's two. water. Now, it does say, and I remember reading it, that to take the milk 
uh, portion down to three quarters of a cup. So here's three fourths cup, three fourths cup, two tablespoons butter, or in my case, not butter. Got to bring that to a boil. So let me get that to a boil. So we're at a boil. Um, just want to show you that I did remove some of the sauce because I was halving the recipe or forgot because I wanted a nice chunky meaty sauce. So now that we got that to a boil, we're going to add the pasta. And then we're just going to follow the directions to finish the recipe. So we're going to bring it back to a boil. When it gets back to the boil, we're going to reduce the heat and let it sit for seven minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to get to shredding the cheese. Okay. Story of my life. Change your plans. Um, I don't have what I need to make the other dish, so I'm going to use what I can of that. This is what I was going to do to make a half um, a dish, but we're just going to go with it now. Let me put this foil underneath so you can see, though. So what I'm going to do to backtrack out of what I was going to do is remember the sauce that I took out? I'm going to put it back in. And I had made half uh, one of those hamburgers I had made. I uh, put that in here. So what we're going to do in this pan here, though, let's get back to the, the recipe is you're going to put a good layer across the bottom. Mind you, this is two packages, remember. But you take about half of your mixture and you put that down. You're going to take about half of your sauce and meat and put that down as well. I grated up both of those blocks of cheese. Those blocks are, how many ounces are these blocks? Three ounces. So six ounces of cheese I uh, grated up. It's gonna be saucy. Gonna put that down right in there. It smells good already. Then you're going to take half of the cheese. Ooh, you know what would be good on this? Just thought of it. If you had some um, uh, Parmesan cheese, I haven't even tasted it yet and I'm already doctoring it up. If you had some Parmesan cheese, you could stick that in the layers too. But I didn't buy any. I have some, but I didn't buy any. Not from the Dollar Tree. And I think the flavor would be slightly different using not Dollar Tree stuff. So. So there's my six ounces. I take some of that and sprinkle it right in the middle. Not in the middle, in the, this is the middle layer. Then, I still hope this is good. I'm gonna go back in with the next layer, the rest of your uh, lasagna mixture. So, two packs of nor, six ounces of cheese. I did three packs of the hamburgers. I think they're a quarter pound. So it would be like a pound and a half. 
And my oven is preheating, has been preheating at 350. We're gonna stick what we can of the remaining meat sauce on here. This is going to be a lot of food here. I did a couple of videos today, so trying not to go so heavy on the food. That's why I was halving recipes. Okay, I can't put much more on there because it's going to stick if I do. So what I'll do is I'll spray the foil. Maybe I might tent it a little bit. I don't know. But to this... I will put a layer of, of uh, Romano, Parmesan, whatever. Stinky cheese, we call it here. And we're gonna put some of this right on top. Now this is gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes. And when this comes out, I hope it tastes like lasagna. That's all of the cheese. You can't scrimp on the cheese. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of uh, vegetable spray, spray it on the foil before I put it over top. Oh my God, that's, that's heavy. All right, I'll put that in the oven, 20 minutes. Okay, so we're nearly done. I just took it out of the oven to take off the foil so I can get the top to toast up a little bit. Back in the oven, it's going. Woohoo! Look at that! That came out nice. Let me take the camera down so we can get a good close up look at this. Look at that! I think that's gonna be yummy, guys. I don't know. Let's take a look at the side of it. Now look at the side. Looky, 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 she looks so good! I'm gonna give that a minute to calm down. And then I'm going to see you at the table. If you get any benefit at all from my content, you can help me out by clicking like, share, commenting, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. We're at the table! Biggity baggity boo! I can't wait to try this. I'm excited. I got a little bit of some stinky cheese over here, but we want to try it first. There's no salt, there's no pepper, there's no nothing, but the hamburger meat, the sauce, the Alfredo, and the cheese. So maybe it might need some salt and pepper, maybe no. Maybe it just needs some cheese, maybe no. We're about to find out, right? Yeah, we will. All right. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how close to like lasagna this tastes. Yeah. All right. Careful, it's still very, very hot. I want to blow that a little bit. That cheese is good. I got a heck of a cheese bowl on it. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Give it a bow. Ready, Grandma? No, I'm try I was trying to help you. I'm still, I'm still in the process here. Okay. Hold on, hold on. It's coming off my fork. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. This is amazing. It's really good, especially when you get a hunk of cheese with it. Mm -hmm. And without the cheese, though, you taste it without the, without a layer of cheese, just that I got a sneaking suspicion that the cheese is salty. Mmm. -mm. Still good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That cheese hanging out. Delicious. It could probably use some salt and pepper. Maybe not the salt so much because of the cheese and all that that's in here, but it could use a little something, but I didn't season the meat. I didn't put no, no garlic powder, onion powder, and if you're home, you would add all those extras. 
on its own, it's fine. I might zhuzh it up a little bit. Let's give it a little bit of a zhuzh. He said yay. Let's give it a little bit of a zhuzh. Just that little zhuzh. You ready, Aiden? I'm ready. Go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Well, there you have it. I hope you try it. I hope you like it. And leave me a comment. Either way, there'll be no wrap-up. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Well, we're back. Tyler wants to try. And I'm so proud of him. Go ahead. Give it a go. Really good. Really good, right? You like mm -hmm. that? I like it too. Okay. Bye-bye.